Hi creative crafters, welcome to Creative Crafts with Miss Adriana. So for today's creative craft, we're going to be making one of my favorite winter animals and that is a walrus. This is my walrus, his name is Wally and isn't he just so cute? But I cannot wait to see what your walrus is gonna look like at the end of this video, okay? So stay tuned to figure out how I made this cute little walrus. Okay guys, so for today's Crafter Corner question, I'm going to be asking you guys, what do you guys think a walrus's favorite food is? Is it A, oysters, B, clams, or C, shrimp? Find out at the end of this video. Here is our supply list. Take a moment to pause the video and gather your supplies if you need to. So for today's activity, you will need two small paper plates, one large paper plate, two glues. You will also need a set of googly eyes, two popsicles, sticks, one black sharpie. You will also need two paint brushes. This brush will be used as our mixing brush. This brush will be used as our painting brush. You will also need the colors titanium white and raw umber to make the color brown. You will also need one sheet of brown construction paper, half a sheet preferably. You also need a set of scissors. Our first step is we're going to cut this small paper plate in half to create the flippers. For our next step, we're going to draw the cheeks of the walrus. I'm going to be using this circular object. You should have to find a circular object within your home to make this shape. Now we're going to cut these shapes out. Okay, now time for the fun part. So, we're going to take our raw umber color and our white color we're going to take a small another small paper plate and use this as our painter's palette we're going to paint the body of the walrus the head and the two flippers but for now we're going to start with the head and the flippers so i'm going to move these off to the side You're going to take as much white as you can out. I'm gonna say a quarter size amount. You're gonna take the same amount out of raw umber. You're going to use your small paintbrush to mix it together. Make sure as you're mixing, you're taking out the streaks of each of the colors. Make sure you're mixing it thoroughly so that way you don't get streaks of dark brown and you don't get streaks of white. Now it's okay for you to go back and add some more brown. Like a tiny, tiny bit. Then we're going to keep mixing. I'm going to take my big paintbrush and the good thing about acrylic paint is that it can be easily spreadable so less is more so if you take a little bit you can use water to spread it out
now we're going to leave our walrus to dry. We're going to come back in 15 to 30 minutes after they're done drying to put our walrus together. Okay, so since my head of my walrus dried first, I'm going to start assembling the face. So before we begin, I'm going to draw the walrus's nose on the plate just so I can use it as a marker for where to put its cheeks and tusks when I'm done. I'm going to draw a triangle shape and we're going to color it in and then to soften it out I'm going to go around a couple of times just to soften the nose. Next I'm going to take the two, I'm going to push it to the side. I'm going to take the two circles that we cut out from before and I'm going to paste on the popsicle sticks. Now I'm going to do halfway, like up to here. I'm going to take this glue, the liquid glue, and we're going to put a dab right there going to paste it on and push it in, leave it to dry. Same thing here, put a little bit, going to paste it. Now we're going to hold it down for five to 10 seconds. It should be kind of glued on, but we're going to still leave it to dry a little bit. Now we're going to put the cap back on. We're going to take this washable glue, the stick glue, and we're going to just put a little bit of glue on the side and connect, connect the two walrus cheeks together. Push it down on the paper. Now we're going to leave this to the side to dry. We're going to put on the googly eyes. I'm going to use the liquid glue, a little bit, a tiny bit. I'm going to put it on. I'm going to hold down, push down. Now you can clean up the glue. You see there's some glue spilling out. It's okay if you clean it up with your finger. I'm going to hold down for five to ten seconds. You can go longer depending on your glue type. Okay, now we're going to do the other eye. Okay, now while these are drying, we're going to check back on our popsicle sticks and they seem to be dried already. So now we're going to take the stick glue, put this to the side and make a U shape around the popsicle stick. And we're going to put some glue on the back of the popsicle stick. That way it can stick onto the plate. You have to be quick with this so that way it doesn't dry. and we're going to put it under the black nose that we created. We're gonna push down, make sure everything is secure. Don't worry about flattening the paper plate because it'll just pop right back up once you're done. But we're also missing one more thing. Who can guess what we're missing? It's whiskers, we're missing the walrus's whiskers. So if you said whiskers, you were correct. Now, you can draw straight lines, you can draw squiggly lines, I'm gonna draw squiggly lines. Now I'm going to bring back the walrus's body and we're gonna put him together. And now we're back, here is the fully dried body. This is his belly. And here are his flippers. I'm gonna just put a line of glue here. 
at the top of the belly to connect the face. Draw a U shape with the glue. I'm going to hold and press down on where we put our glue. Now the same thing here, we're going to add its flippers like this. We're going to use our stick glue, but we're going to put some glue on the back of our flipper. So here, preferably, on the edge. And we're going to stick it like this and hold down. Again, for 5 to 20 seconds. Now you're going to do the same with this side, its other flipper. Now here's our walrus friend. Isn't he so cute? I'm going to name my walrus Wally the walrus. So I hope you guys enjoyed crafting with me today. To answer our crafter corner question from earlier, the answer was B, clams. Walruses love clams. Also, did you guys know that a walrus's tusk can grow up to three feet long? That's crazy, right? Can you imagine brushing that every morning? Thank you guys for coming to Creative Crafts with Miss Adriana and I hope to see you guys next week.